each term of the given series has three components. The first components are 2, 5, 8 and so on. And therefore, the first component in the general term of the series is 3R minus 1. The second components are 5, 8, 11 and so on. And therefore, the second component of the general term of the series is 3R plus 2. And finally, the third components are 8, 11, 14 and so on. And therefore, the third component of the general term of the given series is 3R plus 5. Therefore, the general term of the given series, let's denote it by UR, is equal to 3R minus 1 times 3R plus 2 times 3R plus 5. Now multiply this product with the expression 3R plus 8 minus in brackets 3R minus 4. This is equal to 12, therefore divide by 12 as well. And so UR can be broken into two components. The first component is 1 upon 12 times 3R minus 1 times 3R plus 2 times 3R plus 5 times 3R plus 8. And the second component is minus 1 upon 12 times 3R minus 4 times 3R minus 1 times 3R plus 2 times 3R plus 5. Let's denote the first term by VR. Replacing R with R minus 1, VR minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 12 times in brackets 3 times R minus 1 minus 1 times 3 times R minus 1 plus 2 times 3 times R minus 1 plus 5 times 3 times R minus 1 plus 8. And this simplifies to 1 upon 12 times 3R minus 4 times 3R minus 1 times 3R plus 2 times 3R plus 5. Notice that this is the second term in the expression for UR obtained above. Therefore, UR can be expressed as VR minus VR minus 1. Now put R is equal to 1. We get the first term of the series U1 equal to V1 minus V0. Put R is equal to 2. U2 is equal to V2 minus V1. Put R is equal to 3. U3 is equal to V3 minus V2 and so on. And put R is equal to N, the nth term of the series, UN is equal to VN minus VN minus 1. Now add up all of these equations on the left hand side. We have the sum of the n terms of the given series. And on the right hand side, V1 in the first equation cancels with V1 in the second equation. V2 in the second equation cancels with V2 in the third equation and so on and so forth till we are left with only two terms on the right hand side and therefore the right hand side is equal to Vn minus V0. Now recall that Vr is equal to 1 upon 12 times 3R minus 1 times 3R plus 2 times 3R plus 5 times 3R plus 8. Put R is equal to 0. V0 is equal to 1 upon 12 times minus 1 times 2 times 5 times 8. And this is equal to minus 80 upon 12 which simplifies to minus 20 upon 3. Therefore, the sum of the n terms of the given series is equal to Vn, which is 1 upon 12 times 3n minus 1 times 3n plus 2 times 3n plus 5 times 3n plus 8 minus V0, that is minus of 
माइनस ट्वेंटी अपॉन थ्री और प्लस ट्वेंटी अपॉन थ्री एंड दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर